<laughs> what is going on, everybody? I have a wonderful um, body contouring med spa snapshot available here uh, for $97. You can see this is the, uh, let me just walk you through it. My name is Sean Faber. I own a few different agencies and businesses in the space, um, but this is just me selling here in the high level marketplace. I mean, see, I'll start off with these custom values here. Um, so you can kind of see how they come into the home page here. So this is the um, landing page. So it's great for direct marketing campaigns for the crazy discount funnels that Dan Henry made so popular six years ago, seven years ago. Um, then cool, this works. <laughs> so what this is, is this is the landing page that you're gonna send people to. It is conversion rate optimized, it works good. Uh, we have an ideal image of what they would like to look like here. You can split test and put a picture here of, um, you know, the actual machinery being used for whatever the treatment is for body contouring, whether it's like a cool lipo or a laser lipo or a red light therapy that would work good there, or have a picture like this showing the ideal after of what they'll look like once they go through with the treatment. Get your pre-baby body back with our midi mind. Oh, right here's the logo. This is gonna be the logo for the company, whatever it is. Um, this is just a JPEG background image. Um, you can change the background image. I used UI gradients, so uigradients.com, you just come here. You can select a gradient. I like to flip it so it's vertical. I like to start with a little darker at the top. And then you just click J, get JPEG. And um, then you can just plug that in as the background image here. Whatever color of branding you want, you go to UI gradients, you can change these colors. Just click on it. Um, at least you used to be able to, now it just copies it. Let's see. No, maybe they got a thing to where you gotta like, oh, add gradient, there you go. Um, yeah. Skip that. Okay, so anyways, Mini Mommy Makeover featuring, this is going to be the name of the, whatever it is, laser lipo. You can see, update the custom value, and it'll update the name right here, Laster Lipo. It's supposed to be Laser Lipo. Oh my gosh, whatever. Um, description of the treatment, all for just $97. You can get this snapshot for $97. Whatever percentage off, I put 70% off. If you book today, they claim the offer. We have a form that pops up. I'll show you where the form is on the back end in a minute. First name, last name, email, phone, claim their voucher. Don't overcomplicate it, just leave it as it is. Um, reviews, have this be a real review from a real client. Um, it would be even better if you could put their face above it or beneath it. And this looks incredible on mobile, by the way. This is a great looking mobile website. Um, and this is going to be a map to the actual business. So what I did is I went to Google, like Google Maps, maps.google.com. I typed in the address of the business. It pulled up a map. I just did a little screenshot and then um, pasted it here as an image. And then I added the URL to the Google Maps page, the directions to their office, um, to the image in high level. So... That way people can see it's a local map, they're familiar with it, and they can click on it, get directions to where they're gonna go. Um, once they claim the offer here, they click that, brings them, them to this next page. This top section, I used the exact same background image that I used on the home page just to maintain congruency. Try to keep the colors and everything branded. Move this over here, make my face a little smaller. Step two, claim your bonus and your fat loss guarantee. Prepay for your mini mommy makeover and claim your bonuses today. So if they pay whatever the price is, um, then you can go ahead and put a form here. Um, this form is already customized. It says who's claiming this offer, prepay and claim your bonuses. You don't have to worry about customizing the form. All you have to do is make sure they have Stripe connected and add a product. This way you can collect payments up front. If they don't wanna collect payments up front, you just eliminate this step and you take them to step three, you'll just edit the page, you'll make it step two. 
It'll say request a time for your appointment. Congrats on claiming your spot and your bonuses. Request a time for your appointment below, blah, 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 blah. This is a custom value phone number that is right here, um, the Twilio number. So the Twilio number is right there. They pick a time. What's cool about this form, no, this form is just regular. It's the same form, so it's sticky contact. It'll bring all the information over that they used from this page. So they won't have to fill anything else new out. It'll all be there. Um, there's automated text and everything that go out. I'll show you the workflows here in a minute. And this is, uh, you're all set, book a request, blah, 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 blah. This would be best if you could implant an image of the team right here. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to edit this. Now I actually have a picture of the team right there. Um, a super easy image for you to replace. But it has all this information down here that tells them exactly what to do to show up prepared and to get the best results for their treatment. Um, so that's it. There's you know a few custom values that are in here. You'll see them when you're going through uh, the pages, update and everything. These are the two forms. They're almost exactly the same. Um, the landing page form that you saw here has the button. The booking request form does not have the button. So, oh, it does. I got to replace that one. <laughs> or I got to fix this form. Let me just do that real quick. Okay, fixed it. So the booking request form does not have the button. Um, it'll go ahead and you can just use the default button that shows up on the calendar. These are the automations. When a lead opts in, I have all this, this pipeline. They get added to the pipeline. Um, they get all these tags added. Hasn't paid, it's lead, not scheduled. Intro texts, all that stuff. Step two, I'll hit back to workflows so you can see everything. These are all of the different workflows. Follow up 24 hours after opt-in. Purchased offers, so if they went ahead and purchased, it shuts these ones off and it turns on um, the purchased offer. Appointment time requested, appointment time confirmed. So the booking form, this booking form, it requests the time, but it does not confirm it on the calendar. The person, the front desk person needs to reach out, call them, text them, and confirm the time on the calendar. Then they'll go ahead and they'll get confirmed on the calendar. New automations will go out. This is if they get sold, not if they get sold into this upfront treatment. This is like a lead loss. This is just to cover ad costs, things like that. This is if they get sold into a higher package. So once someone comes in for this mini mommy makeover and claims their bonuses, it's up to the esthetician or whoever um, the professional is to go ahead and sell them into a higher package. So we go ahead. This is if they purchase the offer, if they, you know, appointment time requested, appointment time confirmed, they get sold into a higher package. Um, we remove the didn't close tag, add a sold tag, they get moved into the one category on the pipeline. This is if they didn't close. Um, there's, you know, updates to status and things like that. So we can come back here and you can see the opportunities pipeline, the different stages here, leads not yet, prepaid, time requested, scheduled, closed, a higher package, did not close. Let me move my face because I think there's a couple of hidden spots, quite possibly. That might be on a different one that I just created. Okay, yeah. Leads, prepaid, lead scheduled, time requested. They're scheduled, close to a higher package, did not close. Follow up later, view notes. This is in the automations. Canceled, if they've been refunded, that's in the automations. Um, it's connected to, to Stripe there. And then a no-show. If they no-show for the appointments, there's automations there. So those are all within these automations. Those stages of the pipeline are built in. So, all right, yes, and all of the custom values that we talked about as well. All these custom values um, plug into different areas on the pages and all of the different automations. So this, this funnel, this snapshot has been used to generate like very similar structure and everything um, has generated hundreds of thousands if not millions of dollars worth of front end service for med spas that's not including the back end upsells because those have not been tracked or directly attributed 
to this funnel. Um, but this is extremely effective. You can get it for $97. I'll go ahead, I'll give you a walkthrough video showing you exactly how to customize and install everything as well. But in the meantime, go ahead, let me know if you're interested in the comments below, and I'll get you hooked up with the snapshot link.